this demonstration, you'll learn how to use the debug divergence macro in ANSYS IcePack to identify the cause and location of a diverging solution and how to resolve it. The debug divergence macro helps you identify the problem region of a diverging solution in order to make the changes needed to successfully solve the model. One way to use the macro is to open a model that has previously diverged. The second way to use this macro is to run a new solution and have the macro periodically inspect for divergence and terminate the solution if divergence is detected. Here, I'll follow the procedure using the second method using the model in the displayed diverged solution. First, I'll open the Debug Divergence panel by going to the Macros menu and selecting Productivity, and then Debug Divergence. To run a solution using the Debug Divergence macro, enter the iteration to start checking for divergence, the interval of iterations to check for divergence, and the flow and temperature termination criteria. Then click Accept to launch the solver. The macro automatically terminates the solution when a divergence limit is met and creates three plane cuts that display the mesh, an ISO surface of speed for continuity divergence, and a monitor point. The intersection of the three plane cuts reveal where the solver diverged. These plane cuts are useful for identifying mesh issues. If continuity diverges, it is typically due to low mesh quality. On the other hand, if energy diverged, usually the underlying issue is a typo in a power value or material property. It's a good idea to examine the model in detail near the location of the divergence. Zooming in on the fan, notice the low mesh quality, which is the source of the divergence. To improve the mesh quality and resolve the divergence, I'll change the mesh settings near the fans. First, I'll open the Assemblies panel and apply non-conformal mesh settings to the fan assembly by selecting Mesh separately and entering Slack settings. I'll also disable O-Grids to help remove highly skewed elements near the fans. I'll now open the Mesh Control Panel and click Generate to mesh the model with the new settings. Displaying the mesh, notice the uniform coordinate aligned mesh around the fans. Next, I'll open the Solve Panel and click Start Solution to run the solution. With the modified mesh settings, the solution successfully converges. The debug divergence macro also has the ability to analyze an existing solution. To do this, open the debug divergence macro, select debug diverge solution under additional options, click accept, and select a solution ID. When the solution loads, the same post-processing objects are created to help you identify the source of the divergence. This concludes this demonstration of how to use the debug divergence macro in ANSYS IcePack.